Uh, hi, uh, people have been curious about how to pronounce uh, my name, so uh, today I'm going to uh, very uh, brief introduce myself. Uh, my last name is Lin, uh, the first name H-S-I-N-C-H-U-N. Uh, Xin Chun Lin is my name. And uh, it's easy that I can just kind of reverse S-H-I-N. That's uh, people, how people call me uh, Xin. Uh, you can call me Xin. And, uh, uh, originally, I was from Taiwan uh, in 1988. I went to graduate school in U University of Iowa. Um, I got my MFA degree in ceramics in 91, and then I moved to Silicon Valley uh, in the Bay Area. Uh, this is where I live in Fremont. Um, I've been uh, working since 1981 when I started uh, my ceramic career in Taiwan. Uh, it just happened that I took a, a, a ceramic course in my undergrad and I fell in love with it. So that's why I applied for graduate school and uh, I ended up with in uh, the Bay Area in America. And uh, I, I, thought, uh, I thought that I'd like to uh, get my, all my experience to share with everybody on the, uh, YouTube and all over the world. So that's why I... Uh, I've been uh, producing some of the uh, videos and uh, a blog on YouTube. And I've been a blog about 87 videos and uh, I number each one of them with a number in the very front. So it should be easy to search if you miss some certain kind of uh, video. Uh, you can just uh, type in my name, uh, my, my uh, first name or my uh, I have also have a, a domain name, it's mypats.net. So you type in mypats.net or you type in my name, Shin Chun Lin. Uh, it should be easy to get all the videos. Or you, can work, uh, you are welcome to come to my channel. Um, I have a whole list of the, all the videos in my channel. So uh, it should be easy to search. And, uh, I hope you guys in, uh, enjoy uh, watching my video and uh, learn something from uh, uh, on the wheel and uh, thanks for watching. And today I'm going to just uh, throw some uh, different sizes of balls and uh, different shape of balls up the arm. Uh, you can watch me uh, throwing up the arm. That's the way I was trained. I, I, when making small pieces, I usually throw up the arm. I never have a, a piece of ball and then put it on one at a time. Usually I have a big amount of clay and to start with a big amount of clay. To throw up the hum, basically you just focus on the, the uh, top portion of the clay and uh, you don't need to worry about if the bottom is center or not.
I don't use a whole lot of water. Uh, usually, I just put the water in my hand and um, just coat it on the surface of my pot. Uh, I don't use a sponge because you sponge you uh, tend to uh, get lots of water and you squeeze and the water just going down and drain to the splash pan. So uh, I just use pretty little water. Um, I use a lot of the slip that I remove from my fingers and then cut back to the surface. That's uh, that's enough. I usually use the rib to uh, shape the form holding on the outside and I lightly bend the rib a little bit so you cre it create a very nice curve and then my inside finger kind of push the, the wall against my rib and since my rib has a nice curve so the curve uh, follows um, it will have a very nice curve on the outside. But mostly I actually for the bowls I pay more attention to the inside of the curve. Because since outside uh, it's easier, you can always uh, trim it to get a nice curve. But for the inside it's more important. And one other thing of using the metal rib is that the good thing is uh, I'm using this to uh, kind of uh, shaping, not only shaping, but also to remove the slip. So after I'm finished making the bowl, uh, when I'm lifted, pick it up, it's not slippery. So uh, your shape stays better. That's the, uh, the other reason I'm using the, the, the metal loop to shape the outside. <laughs> So I also bend my rib on the <coughs> to fit the inside of the curve and to get it smooth. And people also ask me what is this is. Uh, this is a piece of a very thin leather, the chamois. Uh, now usually uh, I fold it. So when you see that when I'm folding it, it creates a very nice curve. I'm, I'm using this curve to uh, smooth the edge of the bowl or of the pot. And also, if I want to get the edge a little bit uh, thinner, I can also give it a squeeze. That way, my thin, my rim will get thinner. So now there's a bowl, this bowl is done and uh, I'm ready to uh, cut it off. Uh, to cut it off, I explained it before uh, in some of my video. Uh, I'm using the cotton string. Um, before I cut it, uh, my suggestion is always you want to run your finger here to create a kind of an indent. So later you string your line is going to sit on this indent. Okay, let it sit on the indent and then 
Let go of my left hand while my right hand is pulling. When the wheel is still spinning and pull, um, you will be able to cut it. It's not that difficult. Okay, just uh, make sure you kind of make an indent here. And then, as that guy say, uh, if you don't have a lot of slip, it's very easy to just pick it up. And when you pick it up, it's just kind of like a scissor hand. You use these two fingers, and because the, uh, and, and one other trick, um, try to make your uh, button a little bit smaller. If your button is too wide, sometimes it's hard for you to pick it up. So you want to squeeze the, your button in a little bit so that your fingers uh, sit, <coughs> fit right underneath of that that little uh, squeeze, and then it will be easier for you just lift it up. So this time a smaller size bowl.
so I have a, a, some of the, a, one of the viewer that uh, watched my video and sent me this uh, a wooden rib. He calls a moon rib. Uh, I found out this is good. Uh, after I finish my uh, bowl, if the inside curve is not as, as nice, uh, you can use this to uh, kind of just compress and put it because this is a nice perfect round so you get a very nice curve on the inside especially in the bottom After that, I used the wooden rib, uh, the metal rib, to smooth the the texture of the, the wood, smooth the mark. This uh, maybe it's hard for you to see the curve, but it's nice curve after I use the uh, the wooden brick to uh, compress the center portion. Um, this ball is a little bit larger, so I told you that uh, you can throw different sizes uh, up the hum. There's no any problem with it.
here comes even a larger ball. You can also, also throw it up the harm too.
So with uh, about, I would say about 14 pounds of clay, uh, I throw up the hum. And now it's the finished pieces, uh, about 12 pieces, different sizes and different shapes.